Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Mike with SmartOptionTrading.com. Happy Friday, the 20th of January. This is our weekly recap. It goes out there for free. By the way, we're down to the last about week and a half where you can get my 2023 outlook. After that, I yank it down because it's a month into the year. I figure it's not working. If you want to join us, please come over to live trading alerts. First of all, you can click on the 2023 outlook. It's $99, 25 plus names, sector analysis, what we're looking for this year. Or you can get special $300 for three months and you get the um, outlook for free. Anyway, smartoptiontrading.com, link in the description below. Let's talk about this week. And um, if you weren't with us this week, we kind of nailed this week perfectly. And we talked about just how heated the market was as we came up into this downtrend here on, on Tuesday. All right, we opened up right into it. See this line? This line goes all the way back to the first trading day. January 4th of 2022. And we talked about it. The oscillators were screaming hot as we came into here. And this was a big problem. And I thought we'd have a hard time breaking through. And if you want to go back and look at a five minute chart, you can see here we banged against it first day, couldn't break through, spent about 40 minutes trying to break above it on Wednesday. And finally, we capitulated. There was just no buyers, there was nothing but sellers in here, no buyers. And we needed to cool this market off. And we talked about the places to hold. The first place we said was the 50-day. And we held that on to the close. But then we couldn't. And they said the second place was the top of this channel. Top of this channel was where we broke out from. Well, yesterday we came down. We tagged it. We bounced off of it. Today we had a little bit of shenanigans on the open. And then we've been melting up. And here we are all the way back to the 200-day and the downturn just ahead. What you should note here is the oscillators. You can see them down here nowhere's near as hot this time. They've heated back up again, but nowhere's near as hot as we were here. So can we go break out next week? Maybe. What do we have next week? We have our first full, really big, big week of earnings. You have names like Microsoft in there, IBM's in there, Taiwan Semi's in there, among Boeing's in there, among many others. Um, so you have Tesla. So, you know, you have that going on. You have GDP on Thursday. You have PC on Friday. Those are big numbers. And the week after, we have the big tech names like Amazon and Google and Alphabet and AMD. And we have the Fed decision. But we could. You know, the market looks better. I would keep saying this. The internals of the market here through this mess are better than we were when we were coming up in here. So, right, the market internals are much stronger right now than we were on this last little rally. Right. So here he goes, by the way, Tesla just hit highs of the day. So the market looks ready to run. What was good this week? Oh, there was a lot good this week. We'll start off. Baba gave trades all week long. All right. So Baba here breaking out, almost filling this gap that goes back from months ago. You can't even see it on a three month chart. And, you know, 12070 is that gap fill very close gap and go today. But it had nice moves all week long. We traded this multiple times in the room. Tesla had a very nice bounce this week. Popped up, can't bounce off the eight day, pushing up here, holding in well. Meta is breaking out. So we have this long, long sideways channel breaking out when it's two weeks from earnings. If this thing wants to fly, it can run its way up to the 200 day if it wants to, not saying it will, but it has room to go. Google, which had been a laggard and on my short list for this week, jumped the 50 day and look at this big move up here as they're doing layoffs. The market liked that. They're also hiring back former AI people to take on chat GBT. If you guys don't know what chat GBT is, go Google it and you better start familiarizing yourself with this because it's changing the world and how everything works and everybody else can be doing this. This is something to watch. What else guys, help me out. Microsoft had a nice pushback to the 50 day here. NVIDIA has been on an absolute tear back to the top of the range. Two days of weakness, never got below the eight day. Apple also never got below the eight day, held it and pushed back up. All right, Square, nice move here, trying to break to the highs. So a lot of things moving here, a lot of different moving parts. Why is this so good? Why is the market happy here? Well, I'm going to point to you at Netflix. Was Netflix reports great? No, it was a mixed bag, to be honest with you. They missed on EPS. They missed on, on revenue. Hastings is stepping down as CEO, but he's going to stay on the board. Um, but they had a huge sub beat. They refused to absolutely refuse to talk about their ad base subs, but uh, they got it up higher on EPS and revenue. And it's irrelevant whether, you know, we could argue semantics of whether Netflix was good or bad. There was definitely a mixed bag. Bottom line is this market has been worried and calling for earnings contraction and compaction 
for the last couple of months saying it's going to be a horrible earnings quarter. And believe it or not, so far it hasn't been that bad. And this gives everybody hope. And that's why we're moving up here. So with that said, um, if you'd like to join us, smartoptiontraining.com, link in the description below. Hope you guys had a great week. It was a great week here. And we'll catch you guys all in the room bright and early on Monday morning.